got this email that's uh, supposed to be anonymous, so obviously I'm going to respect that. But uh, they, they say, hey, Michelle, uh, I thought you'd be interested in what uh, colonization nonsense the Stampede is up to. They're starting a volunteer inclusion and diversity group to be led by, you guessed it, three white people. The leader is a white American lady that went ahead and organized the Stampede powwow without engaging Stampede First Nation families and now is wielding her white power to find out why people don't feel welcome. The irony. <laughs> she has a reputation for being a bully, so we can't imagine what fresh hell this is going to be. Um, if you know anyone who is a Stampede volunteer, ask them to check out their October 17th volunteer notice email so that you can see the actual internal posting with the three uh, names of the people in charge. We've sent a screenshot, but we can't seem to attach them here. Yes, Calgary Stampede, people that don't, make, don't feel included want to sit in an unsafe space to tell their stories of trauma to people who have never lived or learned experience of being excluded. By the way, the diverse uh, employees at the Stampede are part-timers, the cleaners, the security. I guess they're not worthy enough to lead this focus group. We'd like to keep this anonymous, please, so we are sorry for the fake email address and name. We know that your voice is powerful and has reach, so we thought we would contact you. Thank you. Here's the volunteer posting, which I'll link. Uh, funnier than shit. Um, I actually was going to say more so this. I'll, I'll, obviously, this is a shit show. Always has been. Nobody knows or respects the stampede for anything inclusion. And I have a million other things to say about that. But bigger picture here, folks. Like This is actually what the bigger problem is happening globally, especially in, in the Western economy. You have um, white people who want to hire... Uh, BIPOC, even better, fucking do it for free, right? Because we don't want to pay these BIPOC because they're lesser than us. Uh, bigger picture, we're going we're gonna to hire one. We're going to traumatize the living shit out of them for a three to six month uh, contract. And then um, once they're absolutely traumatized from racial battle fatigue, we'll let them go. Uh, that's common practice in Western economy standard. Like they think business reconciliation is not keeping an employee not keeping them long term, not giving them benefits, not having them stay for the rest of the rest of the company's life. Like lots of people I know who are white get to stay with a company for the rest of their life if they so choose to. Um, you know, certainly no pension, no no benefits, no nothing. But that bigger picture that they don't see hiring other BIPOC as uh, the bigger um, goal and retaining them rather than being racial fucks. So. That was kind of the message I wanted to send out today so that folks know like this, I get messages all the time. This is a great job for you. You'd be great for it. And really it's like, hey, we want you to be traumatized with this white company with no resources.